Hey all your students, this is Prajesh Shodri, your quantum guru. In this video, I'll discuss the cube resistance problems. In the cube resistance problem, there is a skeleton of cube. The resistance of each side of the cube is R, or you can say that the resistance between any two nearest vertices or any two adjacent vertices nodes is R. There are three types of problems that can be asked. The one is to find the resistance between uh, two vertices along a body diagonal like points A and F and to find the resistance between two vertices along a phase diagonal like A and D and to find the resistance between two nearest vertices, any two adjacent vertices like A and D. So let's try to find first the category 1, like to find the resistance between two vertices along a body diagonal. For the sake of clarity, I have not shown the resistor and it is clear that the resistance between any two nearest vertices are. So uh, what we do, we just send a current I that enters at vertex A and leaves from vertex F. The current I that enters at A has three immediate path to split into and the current I that exits from F that is it has a three paths from where the current will merge to become I. So from path symmetry, so there is nothing uh, one path over which it can choose the other path. So all the three paths are identical. So on all these three paths, the same current will split and that same current is X that is a I by 3. And same way, along these three paths, the same current will go and merge at F to uh, exit and the exit current will become I. So that same current will also be here X and that X equal to I by 3. And let's see this point. This point has a potential A common point. And from here, these three paths, equal current goes through, equal resistances are. So along all these three paths, same potential drop will occur. Starting from same point, same potential drop occurs. It means the potential of H, B and D would be same. So we can write potential of A is same as potential of, uh, potential of H is same as potential of B and potential of D. Same way, PD across all these three uh, wires would be same and that would be I by 3 R and uh, they, the destination point is the same. So starting from the same uh, different points, same potential drop occurs and they merge at a common point. So potential of all these three points should be the same and that would be VF plus I by 3 R. So potential of G, E and C would be the same. Now we can find the potential uh, re equivalent resistance easily. So to find the equivalent resistance, what we'll do, we'll just first. So now we can find the equivalent resistance easily. So we have to find the resistance between A and uh, F. So I have just shown these two points and then join these three points A, B and D, uh, H, B and D. They are at the same potential. So just merge them. So actually this is not G. This is actually uh, H, B and D. This is D. So between H, B and D, there are three resistors and they are this, this and this. So they are in parallel. So join like this. Same way, G, E and C are the same, at the same potential, join them. So G, E and C are the same potential point. So between G, E and C and F, there are three resistors, this, this and this. And they are in parallel. So make it like this. And all the six remaining resistors are between H, B, D and G, E, C. So like this, this is a uh, G, H. So this would be between, this is G, this is H, between this H, E, this H, E, this is H, this is E, G, B, this is, where is G, this is G and this is B, B, C, this is B, this is C, D, E, this is D, this is E and DC, this is D, this is E. So all the six register will come in parallel between these two pair of points like this. So and that is very simple. So the equivalent of all these three would be R by 3, they are in parallel and their equivalent would be R by 6 and their equivalent would be R by 3. And these are in turn in series. So now R A F is equal to R by 3 plus R by 6 plus R by 3 and add up them and get 5 R by 6 
that is the equivalent resistance between two vertices along a body diagonal. Now, we have to find the resistance between two vertices along the phase diagonal and two such points are A and D. So, same way, send current I that enters at vertex A and leaves from vertex E. The current that enters at A has a three path to split into. Of all these three paths, these two paths are exactly identical and the current that emerges from E has three paths from where the current can merge and will emerge from E. So, the, the out of these three paths, the, this path AH and AD are identical. So, this identical current X will go and along this path, the current would be I minus 2X. This, let me write this I and that I do not need. Same way, the current that uh, leaves from E the three paths are there I just explained so on this path and on this path the same current will come and from this path the current I minus 2x will come. So you see that if you apply KCL Kirchhoff current law at this junction so current x goes here and the current x goes here. So no part of this current will go into this wire so there will not be any current on this part the same way. The current x goes here and the same current x goes here. So, the no part of this current is split into this part. So, there will not be any current because no current is going along this wire and along this wire on this wire. So, you can just remove from the network because they are not contributing to any resistor. So, now our setup we can just replace this uh, <coughs> equivalent to this. Now, let us go to x page. You see, we have to find the resistance between A and E. So, just let me show the A and E points. See this, this is AH and this is HE. These are in series. So, their equivalent is 2R. And this is R and this is R. This equivalent is 2R. So, their overall equivalent between A and A is 2R and 2R in parallel. That will be R. So, between A and E, I can first put a resistance R and that I have put in place of these four resistors. Now, go to point B from A and point F from E. So, if I go from A to B, this I have taken, I mean I have taken this one and from E to F, so I have covered this and this. And from F to B, the same way, if you see F to B, so this is R, this is R in series, that is 2R, this is R, this is R in series 2R and this 2R and this 2R in parallel. So, between F and B, we can put the one resistance R, which is the parallel combination of 2R and 2R. So, from here, just put R. So, basically, we have covered all the resistances are uh, taken care of. So, uh, now that is very simple. This is a 3R and this is R. Parallel of 3R and R would be R. A E the parallel of 3R and R would be 3R into R divided by 3R plus R that would be 4R. So, how much that would be 3R by 4. Actually, this is the easiest of the three category of problem. Now, let us go to the last category of problem that is the resistance between two adjacent vertices. It is slightly tougher than the other two. So, let us try to understand. So, the two, two adjacent vertices are say A and D same way send current I at the vertex A and the same current I will leave from vertex D. Now, the current that enters at A have three paths to split into and the current that leaves from D, the from the three path current will merge to emerge at D. So, out of the three paths at A, the two paths are identical and they are this path and this path. Suppose this current is x and this current is x. Same way, uh, at the exit point, the this current and this current should be same. This is x and this is x. So, one thing I can say that starting from the same point, same current goes on this path and this path. So the, by the same argument, I can immediately say that the potential of h and b would be the same. So, uh, Vh is equal to Vb and same way 
the from E and C the same current goes and enters at emerges at D. So the potential of E and C would also be the same. Potential of E is same as potential of E. C and D are the same. I will do the same logic. The points which have uh, at the same potential, I will merge them. So we have to find the potential between A and D. So just uh, make two points A and D, A and B. So just for the sake of clarity, let me put it here. Now, first thing I have taken, I have taken this resistor, that is R. And this is one more thing, that is not B, that is uh, this point is D. This is point D. So I have taken this resistor, R, that is taken care. And then I will uh, join H and B because they are the same potential. So I have joined H and B as a cone point. Between H, B as a cone point and A, there are two resistors, this and this. So these two will be in parallel. Uh, this from this common point B, H and A. That will be like this. Three taken care of. Same way. Uh, these two are at the same potential. Just join E and C. E and C. And uh, between common point E, C. Uh, and D, there are two registers, this and this. So these two are taken care of. They will be in parallel, same way. And now C. This is B, this is C. From B to C, there is a one register. And from H to E, from H to E, same register. So from H to E, same and from B to C, same. So like this. So they will be in the parallel. And now uh, we have taken care of these points. And now go to this point G. BH is a common point because they have much. So from BH as a common point, go to G. Here. So from BH as a common point at D, there are two registers, this and this, and they would be in parallel like this. Same way, from CE as a common point, go to H, go to F to these two registers like this, and they will be in parallel. And finally, last register G and F would be there, and that is here. So, we have simplified the circuit like this. Now let's go to the next page. Let's simplify this. See, this is R. R and R parallel R by 2. R and R in parallel R by 2. So, this R, R by 2 and R by 2 are essentially that is 2R. And this is R and R parallel R by 2. This is 2R and R by 2. So, if I just uh, simply take this part, this much part. So, the resistance of all these below this, uh, above this blue line would be 2R into R by 2, 2R plus R by 2. So, that would be 2R by 5. So, out in place of all these register, I will place just one single register that is 2R by 5. So, like this. And now, this 2R by 5 and this will be R by 2 this is r by 2, 2r two by 5 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 are in series. So, their resultant would be 2r by 5 plus r by 2 plus r by 2 that is r. So, that would be 7r by 5. So, all this can be replaced with 7r by 5 and this 7r by 5 and r are in parallel. So, finally, r a d is equal to 7 r by 5 into r divided by 7 r by 5 plus r and that would become 7 r by 12 and that is our final answer. Thank you.